Welcome to the latest lesson of Chord by Chord, the series designed to build your understanding of harmony in the fretboard. In previous lessons, I've showed you dominant seventh chords. In this lesson, we're going to go over dominant ninth chords. Now, if you remember how to build a dominant seventh chord, it's simply made up of a major triad with a flatted seventh on top. To get a ninth chord, you take that same major triad and flatted seventh and just add the ninth. Example one shows us the notes in a C7 chord. Example 2 shows us the notes in a C9 chord. Just like the flatted 7th, the 9 really adds a new color to the chord. 9 chords are most commonly heard in genres like jazz or funk, not so much in popular music or rock. Example 3 shows us C7 to C9 using open chords. Note that you can play that C9 voicing, eliminating the first string and using your fingers 3 and 4 on strings 3 and 2, respectively. Note that those two voicings are both missing the fifth, which is G, because that note happens to be a non-essential note. Example 4 shows us C7 to C9 chords using bar chords. Note that here all you need to do is simply add your fourth finger to the first string. Example 5 shows us some more compact voicings. Now example 6 shows us G7 to G9 chords. Note that these voicings are the same shapes from example 3 just moved up the next 7 frets. This is what's called a movable shape. This voicing also eliminates the first string. You can also take examples 4 and 5 and move them down to the neck to play G7 and G9 using those voicings. The reason why they work is because when we played example 4, the root note C was at the 8th fret of the 6th string. Those shapes work for G at the 3rd fret because the root note G is on the 3rd fret of the 6th string. Here's example 4 moved down 5 frets to become G7 to G9. And here's example 5, moved down 5 frets to become G7 to G9. Lastly, example 7 gives us D7 to D9 chords. Note that this example is simply the same voicings from example 3 moved up 2 frets. Just like how we adapted examples 4 and 5 to get G7 and G9 chords, we can adapt them to get D7 and D9 chords at different areas on the fretboard. Here's example 4 at the 10th fret to get D7 and D9 using bar chords. Here's example 5 adapted to D7 and D9. So you should now know how to build various 9 voicings from various dominant 7th voicings. One song that makes use of 9th chords is Fly Me to the Moon as performed by Frank Sinatra. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my You should now know a wide variety of chord types that you've learned over the course of 30 lessons. Now we're going to repeat that cycle using an entirely new set of chords. <laughs>